Greetings Hive fans, welcome to another video where I help you play Hive like a champion. This is from game, this is from round six of the 2024 Board Space Open. It is a match between Ted the Bear and Runaway Bee. It's entitled Beware the Beetle Gate. The subtitle of Be Aware of the Beetle Gate. Now, the freedom to move rule is one of the basic rules in Hive. You have to physically be able to slide a piece into the opening in order for it to, to be a valid, valid move. Typically, this affects spiders, ants, and queens as they move around the outside of the hive. The spot where the points of two nearby pieces point together is called a gate, and the piece won't slide through that. A beetle gate occurs when that gate happens on the second level or higher of the hive. Creates a lot of confusion for a lot of players. Not fully understanding how a beetle gate works. Beetle gates typically only affect occasionally beetle movement, sometimes ladybug movement, and in this game you're going to see how it affects pillbug movement. So beware or be aware of the beetle gate. We're going to jump all the way over to turn 32 of this game. It's a, it's a very interesting game because both players opened with pill bugs and both players played their queens in line. So it's a very rare opening, but we're not going to talk about that in this game. We're just going to show the beetle gate. And here we are on turn 32. Black has qualified for the win by covering the white queen. White has not yet qualified for the win. The black beetle moves forward, covering the pill bug, shifting the cover from the queen to the pill bug, keeping the qualification for the win in place. Black not only has the pill bug, but the adjacent mosquito with pill bug power. But the white beetle advances, frees up the white ant, and if you notice, white is in total control of the outside of the hive. All three white ants are free, as is the white mosquito. The three black ants are pinned. The black mosquito is covered. But the beetle gate is in play. So right now, the black pill bug cannot warp the queen away because it will not fit between the two beetle stacks. The beetle gate is there. So when Runaway B jumps over with the Grasshopper, this does a couple different things. It frees the Black Ant, but it also frees the Beetle to, to move forward. But unaware of the Beetle Gate, Ted the Bear does not attack immediately. Probably thinking that the Black Pill Bug has not yet been neutralized because the Black Pill Bug could possibly warp the queen over to here, but the beetle gate stops that from happening. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and see what actually did happen and then come back and see what could have happened. White beetle moves forward. A white beetle covers the black ant, keep it neutralized, also emptying a kill space around the white queen. Black Beetle moves up, <clears throat> and the White Ant moves around, stopping this as a direct drop spot, also stopping the, pill, the Grasshopper from attacking. So White is playing defense here, unaware of the Beetle Gate. But this also was a fatal move by Black. Very instructive move because it did a couple different things. One is it trapped the Black Queen in place so the Black Queen can't move out. Secondly, it fills a Black Kill spot with a Black Bug so that now when the White Ant pins it, the Ladybug is pinned in place taking up a Kill spot. So at this point, White also could very easily win, but we'll, we'll go ahead and watch as the game 
continues. Black Beetle attacks. White tries to keep the Black Ant pinned in. The Black Beetle moves forward. White shuts down the direct drop spot here. Both players continue moving, totally unaware of the consequences of the beetle gate. Finally, white moves over, covers the black pill bug, and this uh, totally neutralizes the pill bug, or actually is already neutralized, but in the minds of white, totally neutralized the pill bug and then it just becomes a race. Black Grasshopper takes it, goes into a kill spot. The White Ant takes the setup shot. Black Grasshopper also takes the setup shot, but White is one tempo ahead and won the game. So, White did win the game, but let's go back and see what should have happened if White was aware of the beetle gate. So let's go back to the formation of the beetle gate. Black beetle moves forward and white beetle moves forward. So at this point, all let's we'll go ahead and do an edit. White could immediately attack the queen. Black's best option was to make a threat. Forcing the white beetle to cover. And Black does not have a bug to take the kill shot. The white ant can move in and nothing can stop the, black, the white beetle from taking the kill shot. All because of the beetle gate stopping the black pill bug from warping the queen to safety. So let's go back to the formation of the beetle gate. White forms the beetle gate, neutralizing the black pill bug. So what's the lesson from this video? Beware of the beetle gate. Be aware of the beetle gate. Beetle gates are an advanced concept that on your way to play Hive like a champion, you must be able to understand them. So thanks a lot for watching. As always, I am here helping you play Hive like a champion. Until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.